Hello and welcome to a short video that I'm putting together uh, just to show the differences in the available color spaces that the Lagareth codec in DX Tori uh, has available to it. Uh, there is RGBA, which is RGB with alpha transparency, straight old RGB, uh, YUY2, which is in the YUV color space, and YV12, which is also in the YUV color space. Uh, as you can see, there are differences. The RGB color spaces tend to be darker uh, and a little bit fuzzy to me, where the YUY2 and YV12, which are in the YUV color space, tend to more accurately represent colors, especially the YUY2. Uh, I think the YV12 tends to brighten the colors just a little bit too much, especially the spruce wood on the roof. It tends to be a little bit lighter than I think it is actually in the game. I'm doing this because I updated DX Tori and it erased all my settings. So this was something that I initially just glanced over in when I was uh, getting my feet wet initially when I started making YouTube videos and never came back to. I had all of my videos have been recorded in the RGB color space and it's turning out to be uh, the least accurate I'm finding. I think the YUY2 color space is a little bit darker than the YV12 in this shot but it is much better than both the RGBA and RGB color spaces. Uh, I'm putting this video together also I, I did it for myself just as a comparison so I could see every shot at once um, but I found it to be quite useful so I figured I'd put it up on the channel and if anybody else uh, might because somebody else might find it useful there aren't that many out there that actually do a straight comparison of the same exact shot. I set this up in Camera Studio Mod, so this is the exact same path at the exact same time in the game uh, to ensure that you know each one can be accurately represented or given the best shot. Here is where we find a lot of the differences. The RGB color spaces are absolutely black at the top and the, YU, the YUV color spaces aren't doing much better, however they are slightly uh, more visible in the dark areas. And this is mostly due, I've found out, to Vegas. I use uh, Vegas 12, and when it encodes, it something in the way it uh, converts, it chops off the first 16 color levels. It starts at 16 instead of 0. And this results in dark areas becoming completely black instead of having the proper contrast. Because in Minecraft, when you're in the dark, you can actually still see but in this, as you can see, everything's going completely black. There's a way around this. Uh, you add a video event effect and choose Sony levels, and then use computer RGB to studio RGB in the drop down menu. This has the effect of compensating for the loss of those first 16 levels, which I'll show here. You can see on the left, this is compensated. This is how a lot more of what it looks like in the game. Even though it is dark, you can still see what you're doing where on the right, the uncompensated is uh, absolutely black. And this is also something that I've uh, Googled long and hard to find, and it uh, made a very big difference for me, because I, I always attributed it to YouTube darkening things when it's actually Vegas. Uh, I can't comment on any other uh, rendering software, as Vegas is the only one that I've used extensively. But we are approaching the end of this, and I hope you found this useful. If you did, uh, feel free to hit the like button, it helps a lot. I know that uh, it's nice just having a comparison side by side and in the same shot. And that's what I was trying to achieve with this. Uh, so I hope you like this and I will see you in the next one.